you over and over again, the globalist-run corporate media are collaborators. They're enemies of the people. That isn't rhetoric. They are actual enemies of the people. And now President Trump is openly exposing them for their deception. As massive new jobs for the average worker, the working class, the blue collar, the middle class explode, they are in full panic. I want to go to more clips from the historic speech yesterday in Melbourne, Florida, with President Trump. But first, let's get into this article from CNN itself having to admit the truth. There's one thing going right for Trump. Again, everything's going right for him, exposing political correctness, the globalist, the crony capitalist, pick winners and losers, how to empower the economy, how to grow ourselves out of this depression. But they say, oh, one thing. Well, if the one thing's the economy and delivering on your promises, then that's everything. Headlines claim the White House is in chaos after an extremely turbulent week. But there's one big thing going right for Trump right now, the U.S. economy. A slew of economic data came out this week, almost all of it positive. Americans are going to the stores and spending big. Retail sales came in better than expected for January. There's also buying houses and cars and using their credit cards. On top of all that, small and medium businesses owners are giddy. The NFIB, Small Business Optimism Index, is at the highest level since 2004, 14 years ago or 13 years ago. Heck, even manufacturing has made a pretty big turnaround and looks almost healthy again. The Philly Fed Index, a survey of how well manufacturers are doing, just hit its highest level since 1984. There's that 20 plus number I gave you. And anyone with money in the market likely noticed the U.S. stock market set even more records this week. In fact, American stocks are at their best winning streak in 25 years at 2.5 trillion gained in two months. There's still a belief on Wall Street and many parts of Main Street that CNN money has recently visited that the Trump is going to get the economy surging again. Yes, there are some red flags. Household debt is back in the 2008 levels and prices are rising. But overall, things look good. The economy is better than you think, says Chris Rubke, chief economic economist at the MF. FUG Union Bank in New York. President Trump has inherited the best economy since President Bush, so let's hope things continue to run smoothly. Now, that's CNN's BS. The globalists admit that they've kept interest rates low for the big banks to get 0%, but not to the public. There's been historically, in the last 200 years, low levels of loans to the general public and small businesses. That's why oh, Trump's getting rid of Yellen. He's firing the Federal Reserve, which is private, but he can control it. So, so we always say it's private, but it did have government control. The government would just never exercise it. So technically, you could say it had government control, but they never exercised it. Now Trump's like, listen up. I'm somebody that isn't for low interest rates usually, but since you've had it for yourself for eight, nine years, you're going to give it for at least a year to the general public at 0%, so they can get it at 2 or 3% after the local bank loans it. The local bank gets interest, then it builds the local community, and so does the public. You're going to do that. Again, everything Trump's doing, like Ron Paul and Rand Paul, they both were Trump enemies. But because they care about the people, and they're both economists that inform, both into the economics, they've come out and said, okay, Trump's amazing on the economy. Okay, he's, he's trying to save us. And if we don't do this, we're crazy. So just understand, Trump is doing everything he can to turn back our coal plants, to cut our corporate taxes, to bring jobs back, to Rand Paul said he's got his 10,000 jobs. It's hundreds of thousands of jobs have already been announced. Hundreds of billions of jobs have been announced. It's so good, it's hard to even gauge it all. Look at this, U.S. Economic Conference surges to the highest level that Gallup has ever recorded. I mean, it's all right here. Meanwhile, Trump calls the news media the enemy of the American people. Yeah, they want a monopoly. Fed to raise rates to challenge and block Trump. Washington Post called on the Russian government payroll against Trump. Trump understands that he has a service-based company, the Trump operation, and that it's not been as profitable the last decade because the economy's been imploding. And the winners and losers have been picked. So Trump, just from a selfish view, wants prosperity. He has a service-based company. Owen Schroyer is with us in the next hour after Dr. Jerome Corsi joins us with breaking news. Was just in Melbourne, Florida yesterday to cover this. And we have video liberals just going, he's rich. He wants us to be poor. He's rich. No, he's the blue-collar billionaire. All the other big all the other big billionaires, except for like 
Peter Thiel, maybe Musk, say we should empower people and cut taxes and have a big economy. So a handful of 300, 400 billionaires is for the people. All the rest are an issue. And Trump is that. He's on fire. I mean, I don't have enough energy to give to this movement. It's so delicious and so real. We're going to go to break here in about four minutes, but I want to go ahead and play another clip. Uh, this is uh, Trump invites supporter on stage to show how the Secret Service says, oh, no, no. And he says, look, these are my people. I trust them. I saw this guy waiting here at 4 a.m. on TV. Bring him up. Just like he marched at the head of his own deal down Pennsylvania Avenue. He was inaugurated on the 20th, the day, as he said, America was reborn. Here is President 45. Get used to it. Donald Trump. And I can tell you, the military and law enforcement, they stood up big. I don't say for me. I'm the messenger, folks. I'm the messenger. They stood up for us in this last election. We got numbers that nobody believed were possible from law enforcement and from military. Basically, people that wear uniforms like us. Isn't that nice? And I saw this man on television just now. You. I just saw him on television. He said, I love Trump. Let Trump do what he has to do. That's my guy right there. It's true. Come here. Come here. No, I just, I'm coming in. That's okay. Let him up. Let him up. I'm not worried about him. I'm only worried he's going to give me a kiss. I'm not worried about anything else. This guy is so great. So badass. He was one of many people. They're interviewing people in the line. And I have to say, there's a tiny group of protesters out there, and they were given as much publicity as his massive. If we don't give Trump people. support, we, we lose our this, man, this is a real test. Come on up. This guy's on fire for people. That was great. Hop over the fence. Come on. He can do it. This guy's he's so manly. Like making a joke. This guy's going to give me a kiss, like brotherly love. It's like, come on. He's an average wimpy guy would say something this like that. This guy is great. Don't worry about him. No, 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 no. Come here. They're going to throw. Come on up. Come on. Come here. Come on. It's about the people. This guy. Not the robots. Not all your crap. So, he's been all over television saying the best things, and I see him standing, and then you get here like at four in the morning, and it's, uh, say a couple of words to this crowd. Doesn't know what he's going to say, puts him on TV, it's the, it's not recklessness, it's the spirit. Mr. President, thank you, sir. We the people, see, the globalists are OCD. all movement is the reason why our president of the United States is standing here in front of us today. Yes, yes. We're connected. That's it. This is real, folks. This is, this is history. There's no my spirit, my gut. It's it's real. It's unbelievable. When President Trump, during during their election, promised all these things that he was going to do for us, he's doing it. I knew he was going to do this for us. That's right. Because that's history. Where are the real leaders that get it? Oh, Mr. President, thank you so much, sir. A star is born. A star is born. Boom. The people. <laughs> and the numbers. And then Goldman Sachs gave 100% of his money to Hillary trying to block him. Their stock's up 33 35%. And they're still bitching. He's like, because see, they don't want you to have any wealth. Trump's smart. He's not trying to take the wealth from the globalists that stole it because they'd be too big a fight. He's just like, look, you're done, vampires. Get off the people. Just just get off of them. We're going to get them some, some. No, get off. Keep the stuff you stole. Just go. And they're like, no. He's like, here's all this money. Boom. And they still want more. They're like, just let them have something. He's like trying to hold vampires off while trying to like get emergency resuscitation to the people. Let me tell you, once he gets resuscitated, these globalists better watch their ass. If they'd have backed off, Trump wouldn't have run over them. But believe me, a couple of years from now, you watch. Once we get the country back and the world back, the new world order is in deep crap. Today we call it bone broth, and for thousands of years our ancestors enjoyed its benefits before it became lost to our modern diets of processed junk. We are now introducing Caveman by InfoWarsLife.com, the ultimate in true paleo nutrition with bone broth, turmeric root, chaga mushroom, and seven total primal superfoods in a single great tasting formula. 
caveman. It's those people living in the wilds having to actually build civilization that are our superior ancestors. And we need to do everything we can to recapture that. Everyone knew that you used all the parts of the animal. You used the meat for sustenance, the fat for cooking, but you used the bones for strength. From the outside structure full of minerals and key cofactors to the marrow that produces the blood for the body, this is the engine of the life essence. I'm a long way from the caveman my ancestors were, but I'm sure as hell trying to get back to that essence that made us what we were, and this is a big part of it. I know you're going to want to check out Caveman Ultimate Paleo Formula for yourself at InfoWarsLife.com today.